Hello friends, this is my YouTube channel called PowerPoint University. You can find more than 200 plus video tutorials which are absolutely free and I have provided the download link for each video in the video description section. And if you need any assistance or help, you can contact me through WhatsApp on this number. And as usual, I need your support to make my content free. You can donate any amount as you like which will help me to make more free content thank you for your support welcome to my youtube channel powerpoint university in this tutorial i am going to show you how to create a poster or a brochure in powerpoint this is how it looks i have created this to show the annual report and I have added a message of the CEO in the left side and the company growth and on the top I have added some new challenges and below you can add your company name or the logo and add the contact details so let's see how to create this beautiful slide in PowerPoint add a new slide go to insert shapes and select a rectangle draw the rectangle at the middle of the slide align center and align middle make it no outline and then right mouse click and say edit points the right top corner point just drag it at the bottom and the right side bottom just drag it upwards and then select the top point and increase the size just drag it up and at the middle right mouse click and say add point control Z I forgot to do the smooth point and then you just drag it upwards and here also bottom also right mouse click and say add point and then say smooth point this also make it something like curved and increase the size here also I'm just going to make it somewhat more curved You have to do this till you get the the right and smooth shape then right mouse click and go to format shape under fill you can select the picture and select the image which you want to insert so in this case I'm just going to add some image which I have already downloaded from the internet and right mouse click again edit point and if you want to increase further you can increase the size or if you feel that it's okay then don't do anything press ctrl D to duplicate go to shape and say solid fill and give a light a black color a black color actually and make it more transparent and send this to back bring it below and send this to back just to give a shadow effect and for this also edit point and I'm just going to give the shadow effect only one side and just do something like this and I want to give the shadow effect something like this as well as I can do it at the top also the top point I'm just increasing so you got 
this kind of a shape you can increase the transparency level further and then go to line and give the line a different color in this case I'm just going to use a white and increase the width so I've just given the border then go to insert again and shapes select a right triangle make it no outline and rotate it to right 90 degrees increase the size and again for this also I'm just going to make it edit points and here also just increase the size so you got this particular shape of a leaf and then you can add a different color maybe the teal color or green or some other colors whichever color you like you can select this and this also send this to back go to insert shapes or instead of doing that one you can press ctrl D to duplicate and rotate it to horizontal flip horizontal reduce the size and give a different color here send this to back and then you can insert one more small triangle with no outline and make it as a white color rotate it and for this also you can increase the transparency level so that from the the shapes from behind can be visible and then you can add the text here in this case I'm just going to type annual report this is the cover page for the annual report and use any good font I've used the font called Oswald make it white and you can press ctrl D change the font color and you want you can type any challenges which you want to add here you can add it or any other text which you feel that it is important for your annual report you can add it here you can add one more press ctrl D and if you want to show some company growth or any other you can just type that as well here or if you have some icons also you can add the icons you have to make sure that you have to use the right color combination otherwise the font will not be visible then and here I'm just going to add the message from the CEO and you can add more details more detailed description reduce the size make it white color or a gray and 
you can add below the company name if you have the logo you can add the logo as well here and at the bottom you can add bottom left corner you can add the contact details or the mobile number telephone number or the address you can add it there I'm just going to add a line as a separator and add the contact the mobile number or the office details you can add it here and now it's time to do some small animation go to animations enable the animation pane first select the main image and say wipe wipe say from left and this also wipe just say with previous and a delay of 0.25 seconds and then select this image or the object this also say wipe after previous then this shape also I'm going to say wipe from right with previous or after previous we can say if you see here this is a, a small animation don't make too much animation because this is your annual cover page annual report cover page so you have to keep it simple so I'm just going to group the text first and then I'm going to do the animation so for this text I'm just selecting all the text and I will say appear or maybe let's say wipe from top or you can say zoom also and say after previous so this is how it looks a simple but very beautiful slide so if you see here the slideshow when I click simple isn't it That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.